What's going on YouTube? This is JabberTech. Today we're going to take a look at some headphones that don't suck. Headphones for those of you bowling on that budget. Why are you bowling on a budget? Because you have active noise cancellation at only about $60. Not the $300 that some people pay for some other brands. But are these actually any good? Let's get into this video review of Mixcoder's E9 headphones together. So just looking at the back of the box, you can pause it and read it for yourself. But they're claiming about 24 hours with noise cancellation and 30 hours without. So that's absolutely insane. 500 milliamp hour battery, Bluetooth range, 33 feet. That's about the norm. So let's go ahead and open these up. Check them out together. And let's just see what we get inside. We got a little struggles here. Little plastic troll going on. Now let's put that aside and check it out together. That's about it. So right away you get a nice travel case. It's a nice hard shell kind of travel case. I kind of like that. But of course it's what's on the inside. And this is what we get in here. So already I like they give you that old school airplane adapter. A lot of the airplanes these days just use regular three and a half millimeter, but it's nice to know you still have these in case you're on an older plane. There's your standard three and a half millimeter cable. These do charge with micro USB and you get the books. Very good. And then what's this? Thank you for your purchase. All right, cool. So these are the headphones guys, sort of what you'd expect a kind of normal looking headphone, nothing crazy in terms of the styling. Now let's just take these out and just take a look at them. That's right guys, these are only $60 right now and that's with Amazon or if you use my code JabberTech directly from the manufacturer. Check my links down below to decide where you want to buy it from. But at $60 I think these are an overall win. Not only because they are really good sounding, yes I cut right to the chase. These guys sound really really good and I was absolutely surprised when I first put them on. At $60 with noise cancellation I really wasn't expecting that much. But overall these are now my most favorite headphones for when I'm going to the gym, for when I just need a pair of headphones when I'm running out the door. These ones did really good. Now why do I say they are good? Because they are very comfortable, they sound great, battery life was great, and then they block out some of that annoying noise that we get while we're walking down the street. Let's talk about each of those points together, starting with the overall comfort. These were really comfortable guys. I mean the ear pads here are pretty plush, pretty nice and soft. There was no discomfort when wearing these whatsoever. And it is an over the ear design, so it goes entirely over your entire ear, which in part blocks out some of the noise just by itself. But then you also have the noise canceling feature that you can turn on or off. And I usually leave it on just because that's the whole point of these headphones. But if you choose to turn it off, that's your prerogative and you'll get a little bit extra juice, which I really don't recommend. It's not really worth losing that noise cancellation for an extra couple of hours. But comfort was really nice. I mean, you pretty much have any extension so it'll fit for any, any type of head. Look at that. If you have a big melon head like that, it should fit, or if you have a little petite grape head, that'll fit as well. And it extends, so no problem with any type of head that you have. This will go over. The buttons are pretty much basic. It's a nondescript looking headphone, so it is what it is. You get the up and down volume, which you can change the tracks as well. Power button, charges with micro USB. That's where you have your microphone. You also have a three and a half millimeter jack in case you don't want to use them on Bluetooth. And this is where you turn on or off the noise canceling feature. Now one thing I do want to hope in the next iteration, you see I turned it on. That light is still on while the headphones are off. So that's going to use a tiny bit of juice guys, not that much, but you don't want to wake up only to find out you don't have any juice because you left this on. So hopefully they do change that later on in the future. And then overall the quality, it is a plastic headphone, but on the band here, it's pretty nice and comfortable, pretty plush, no issues with that at all. Now let's talk about range. Range is standard Bluetooth 4.0, so it's about 30 feet. If you're indoors, you get a little bit more. I'm not gonna really say how much it was, but you all know Bluetooth headphones and what you're used to. It depends on what walls you're going through, etc., etc. If you're at the gym where it's a big open space, you're gonna get a lot more range than if you're in an apartment or in a house. But the range was really good. And speaking of the range, here in New York City, some funny things happen. Some headphones, whenever you walk through major intersections, I guess with all the 
interference. They kind of have trouble and you kind of lose the signal and it's just a whole mess. If you live in New York City, let me know if you've experienced that. But to me, it happens pretty much on every major intersection, 23rd, 34th, 42nd, 57th, etc., etc. But with these, the connection was super, super strong and I really didn't lose any connection. So that's a thumbs up to this. It was really a nicely done Bluetooth connection. That's a plus with these. And then the next plus with them is that noise canceling feature. That's the bowling on a budget feature and why these cost 60 bucks versus 300. Well, the noise cancellation, I would say cancels about 40 to 50% of your ambient noise. Whereas the Bose and the Sennheisers and the Sonys, they cancel about 80% of what's around you. So will these be good if you're on an airplane? They're not gonna cancel out all the sound if you're on an airplane like the Bose do, but they will be good if you're on the street, if you're walking around or if you're in your office, these will actually be really perfect. So walking down the street, you're not able to hear people's conversations as they pass you. You're not able to hear really the traffic. And then also you're not really able to hear sounds that are coming from pretty far away that you normally would when you didn't have these on. Now, part of that is thanks to the over the ear design that actually blocks out some of the noise. And then another part of it is this active cancellation that'll block out another 30 to 40%. So overall guys, I'd say these are perfect for walking around, they're perfect for the gym, you're not gonna be able to hear anyone at the gym, but if you're on a super, super loud subway or if you're on a plane, you still will be able to hear those ambient noises. But overall, I'd say for 60 bucks, you really can't go wrong with these noise canceling headphones. If you're bowling on a budget, if you want something maybe to give to the kids, maybe you want something for your gym bag, maybe you want something that you can wear and really not completely worry about it. These are for you and at 60 bucks, I think they're great. I wanna talk about sound quality and that's where these actually really, really surprised me. Sound quality on these guys sounded absolutely great. Now I listen to a bunch of music from EDM to country, to hip hop, to rap, to alternative. I'm really all over the place. And these sounded great with just about everything I heard. Even NPR sounded pretty good. Bass on these is pretty good. Now it's not for you bass heads out there. Yeah, this is not gonna rock your brains off, but it is pretty good. The sound was awesome. I like the mids, the highs were there too. It is a nice mid-range type of headset. So thumbs up to that. I was actually pretty surprised. So the sound quality was great. The active noise cancellation was really good. And then next, finally, let's talk about battery life. Battery life on these, I got about 20 hours, 18 to 20 hours, and they claim 24. So it was right up there. And if you don't wanna use that noise cancellation, you'll get 30 hours. But again, to add a little couple hours to your listening pleasure, it's really not worth it. After all, you buy these for that noise cancellation feature. So don't really turn that off. I recommend you leave it or you can connect it with a wire. Charging with micro USB, a full charge will take you a little over two hours, about two and a half hours, but there is sort of like a quick charge feature here. If you charge these for about 30 minutes, they claim you get 10 hours of usage. I had to quickly top them up one day and I was listening to them for about three hours and I still had some juice left. So really guys, if you want a headphone that you can just top up really quickly when leaving the office, you forget to charge it, these will do a fine job for you and you'll be able to get home, get to your workout or do whatever you need to do just with a half an hour of a charge. So that's really it guys. These really surprised me. Again, they're from a company called Mixcoder E9. And at 60 bucks, if you're looking for a nice pair of headphones that aren't gonna break the bank, you're trying to ball on that budget and get yourself some active noise cancellation, these will do it for you. Thanks for watching, I really appreciate it. Check my links down below if you're interested in purchasing them. If you have any questions, let me know, but I'll catch you guys next time.